minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have RD-180 ignition and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine ignites to generate more than 860,000 pounds or 3.8 million newtons of thrust to lift the rocket on its way to a near-polar sun-synchronous orbit. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 1 minute 20 seconds. In the next two and a half minutes of first stage flight, the Atlas V will more than quadruple its velocity. To meet requirements for the mission, at 2 minutes 18 seconds, Atlas begins varying its trajectory through a steering maneuver known as RAND steering. ULA's unique right ascension of the ascending node technique gives Landsat a much longer launch window by compensating for Earth's rotation. This dynamic trajectory is dependent on the liftoff time within the given window. At 4 minutes 3 seconds, propellant levels deplete and the booster engine shuts down. The Atlas V is now traveling at more than 13,800 miles per hour, or 22,200 kilometers per hour, is located nearly 93 miles, or 150 kilometers in altitude, and is 154 miles, or 248 kilometers downrange. Six seconds later, the Atlas Centaur separation system activates to release the booster stage. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 8% of what it did at liftoff. Ten seconds later, the first burn of the Centaur main engine begins. Burning liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, Centaur is attaining orbital velocity. During ascent, Landsat 9 is protected inside a 4-meter diameter payload fairing. At 4 minutes 27 seconds, the payload fairing is jettisoned. 16 and a half minutes into flight, cutoff of the Centaur main engine, or MECO-1, occurs. The mission now enters a coast phase in preparation for Landsat 9 separation. At 1 hour 20 minutes and 40 seconds, Centaur releases NASA's Landsat 9 into a near-polar sun-synchronous orbit to continue the legacy of the Landsat program, monitoring Earth's climate, water, and vegetation. Following Landsat 9 separation, the Centaur main engine completes two more burns within a span of 50 minutes. At 2 hours, 14 minutes, 5 seconds, the ESPA flight system, or EFS, begins deployment of multiple CubeSats, including the Colorado Ultraviolet Transit Experiment from the University of Colorado at Boulder and the CUSP Plasma Imaging Detector from Boston University. Finally, at 2 hours, 57 minutes, 44 seconds, Centaur performs a fourth and final burn to complete the mission.